Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going through a full installation guide on the new T-Rex version that was just released about three days ago, and that is 0.25.12. Um, I always recommend you get that from their official bitcointalk.org thread, and you can get to this page by just searching Google and uh, typing in Bitcoin Talk space t-rex miner and just make sure you're on the page that has over 101 um, pages of comments and so what we want to do is just scroll down and we can find their official github link so you always want to come here and get it because there is fake ones out there and you don't want to be downloading that but anyway this that's their official one so if we come here you can see it was released four days ago actually and um, it is uh, 25.12 now if you read you you should read these every time it updates but so the, the most important thing you should take out of it here is um, this line which says change default value of LHR autotune mode perimeter to down used to be full so what this means is when you start the miner if you have light hash rate cards if you don't it doesn't matter when you start the miner it's going to calibrate an uh, an unlock value so say it, it calibrates like 75 well the miner is if you do if you don't set this parameter to full the miner is only going to go down so if it hits a lock it's only going to go down it's not going to try to tune up so if you want it to go up and down like usual you should use full now if there's beta releases or anything like that this might change so you want to read the release notes but uh that's basically what this auto-tune mode parameter does and then the next one is going to be what drivers you should be running so on linux which is of course hive os it says you can run 470 or newer so i have a rig that's on um I believe it's on like 470.86 or something like that. You can use, you use whatever you want to use. Just make sure it's within this range. And then it says on Windows, you should use 5.12 dot whatever. Um, or it says that 4.72 works as well. So if you're still on 4.72, you don't need to update. But if you're below that, like on 460, you need to update. And then if you don't know how to find that, if you go to your desktop, this is on Windows at least. If you go to your desktop, hit Control Panel, NVIDIA Control Panel. And then uh, when it pops up, you can go to System Information. And then it's going to be right here. So as you can see, I'm on 512.15. And then um, for Hive OS, to figure that out, you can just go to your rig. Go to one of your rigs. And if you look, if you scroll down right here, so A is what AMD drivers you're running. So 20.40 and then in NVIDIA is, or N is NVIDIA. So I'm on 470.86 on this rig. Um, but that's how you can figure that out. So now let's just get right into the installation. All you gotta do is um, come down here and download it. So I'll download 25.12. Uh, now, before you can open this and run this, you're gonna have to allow it through your Windows Defender. You have to do this because Windows falsely flags these mining programs as um, viruses. But as long as you get them from their official source, so like, Right now, this is the official source of T-Rex Miner. As long as you get it from here and not from somewhere else, you're completely safe. Uh, just make sure you're getting it from where you're supposed to be getting it from. But uh, to do that, you can just come down here to your Windows button and then go to Settings. And then you want to go to Update and Security. You want to go to Windows Security. You want to go to Virus and Threat Protection. Um, you want to scroll down and go to uh, manage settings under virus and threat protection. 
And you want to scroll down and go to exclusions. Now click add and remove exclusions. And then here, what you're going to want to do is make a folder somewhere where you're going to have the mining software. So for example, me, I have mine in um, my documents slash mining folder. So you make yourself a folder and then you're going to hit add an exclusion, hit folder, and then wherever your folder is. So mine is documents mining, and then you just click select and then you're done and you can close this. And then once you've done that, you want to go to show in folder or wherever it downloaded to. And then you want to right click it and hit cut. You want to go to that folder that you just made and you want to paste it in here. Now from here, this is a compressed folder, so you have to decompress it, which uh, most people know it by uh, unzipping. So I use 7-zip to unzip. You can use whatever you want. Just make sure you uh, extract it to its own folder. So like, for example, if you open it, right, it's going to have all these files in it. You're going to want to move all these files to your own folder. So I just extracted it to this folder. And so here we are. Now, once you're in th at this point, you're pretty much done with the installation. Now you just need to configure your batch file. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be mining ETH and Ethermine. And so what I'm going to do is just copy this one and I will paste it. And then I'm just going to rename it so that it's at the top of the list. Just put a All right, and then from here, you're going to want to go to right click it and go to edit. Now, if you get a, um, a warning by Windows, just hit like, uh, I think it's towards the bottom. It says like view more details or something and then hit start anyway, and you, you'll get to this point. So here is what you need to edit. So this is your, uh, well, this is your mining pool. And so Ethermine's already set up if you're using Ethermine like me. So I just need to change this to US. And then here's your wallet. Now you want to change your wallet. Um, I'm going to change mine to mine. And then here you can name your rig, whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it. I'll just name it test. And then one thing that I have to do because I have two cards in the system is I'm only going to use um, I'm only going to use my light hash rate card. Whoops. All right. And so once you, once you've done that, then you're complete. You can close this and you can run it and you're done. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is or uh the next thing that's important is if you have a light hash rate card and like i said you want it to go up and down you have to set this parameter so if we we would have to copy this and we want to set it to full and so that's basically everything you want to have done for this new version you want to make sure you're on one of these um, drivers and you want to set this to full if you want the miner to go up and down all right so now we can you can run this right now as it is and it'll start no problem let's just run it it'll start up and as you can see i have a um 3060 ti light hash rate and it starts just fine i'm gonna close it and what I'm going to do is a lot, a lot of people use Afterburner to set their overclocks in Windows. And you can do it directly from your batch file with T-Rex. So to figure out how that works, if you go to um, the README, if you scroll down to GPU fine tuning, Basically, you read this and it tells you what to do. But if you want to use absolute core clocks, you're going to want to use this command. Uh, you can set your fan speed with that command. If you want to use core offset, so like if, if you're, you're translating from afterburner 
if afterburner says like plus 600 on the core you're gonna want to use this command and then it's gonna be you just put the 600 if it's a negative you would put negative whatever the number is and then for your memory it's just uh, the offset so if um, afterburner says like a thousand on the memory plus a thousand then you just put plus a thousand if it's negative negative a thousand and so I'm gonna use absolute core clocks for my 3060 TI which I'm gonna set it to 1465 and then I'm gonna set the memory clock I have Hynix rev 2 memory in this card so I it can clock pretty high if you use these clocks and um, it crashes it's most likely your memory you probably have to go down to like 1200 or even lower and then I'm gonna set my fan speed to um, 90 and that's basically how you do the overclocks you just like if you have two cards so for example if I wanted to do my um, or well just anyway if you have two cards say your GPU 0 is your 3060 and then say GPU 2 is another one and you want to use different clocks you just put a comma and then you would put whatever the the next uh, clock is right here same thing comma whatever the next memory clock is and then whatever the next fan speed is and you can just keep doing that commas 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 but uh, we only got one or we're only using one so uh, but yeah that's basically how to do it but one thing that you need to know is in order to use these commands if you look in their uh, the readme right so let's go to the core lock right here it says it requires running the miner with admin privileges so there's two ways you can do this uh, the best way that I know which I think it's it's the best the better of the two is well let me show you what happens real quick before I show you what to do so if you try to run this right with the overclocks just like this, this is what it's gonna show you it's gonna give you an error can't lock core clock can't set GPU clock blah 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 and then if you read the yellow it says the miner has to be in in admin privileges right so I mean, if you're familiar with uh, Windows, crashed. Uh, so, if you're you're familiar with Windows, you know you can just right-click and hit Run as Administrator, right? Well, you're gonna get this error. And basically it's telling you that it can't find t-rex.exe and that's because if you notice it's opening in system 32 so the way to get around this is if you uh, click your address bar and you copy the full path to wherever the miner is and then if you edit your batch file and you put it before t-rex and then include another backslash that's the easiest way I know of how to fix it so just make sure if if you ever so say like 25.13 comes out right and uh, you do the same pro the same process but you just copy this entire line batch to the other one well you're gonna have to update the path because the path changed unless you use the same uh, folder but anyway the second way to do it is if you go scroll down to the actual application you right click it go to compatibility and then you hit uh, run this program as administrator and you hit apply I'm not gonna do that because when you do that and you run uh, the batch file it's gonna open two windows instead of just one and uh, that kind of irritates me so I'm not gonna do it uh, but yeah now we can uh, run it Make sure you always run it as administrator if you're using uh, those overclock commands. And then also, just as a side note, when you close T-Rex Miner after you've used these commands, you don't want to just click this X. What you want to do is uh, hit Control C, like click on click on the window, and then hit Control C on your keyboard, and it will kill the process. 
And when it does that, T-Rex automatically resets your um, GPU's clocks to whatever they their default clocks are. But that is uh, basically it. One other thing that I could recommend is if you do have light hash rate cards and you're using the tuner, well, if we come to the readme, it's kind of near the top. If you read, so this, uh, the readme, or not the readme, let's go back to the main page real quick. Some people are going to be coming from 25.9, right? Where you have a LHR tune command in your batch file. Well, if you read the readme notes, it says to remove those. So if you have, and, and this is the command right here. It's, it's not talking about all the LHR commands. It's just talking about the tune command. So you don't want to have that, but what you can still use is, um, so you can use the step size and you can use the interval. Now for a step size, the default is 0.5. What I recommend is using 0.1. So if we copy that and we edit our batch file again, I usually like to put it before my overclocks just so I can see my overclocks more easily, but I'll put the step size and then I'll put 0.1. And then that just means whenever you're, uh, so if you, if you look right here at where it says my, right now, the new version, the reason why you don't need that LHR tune is because the new version calibrates by itself and it tries to choose the best um, starting uh, light hash rate value. And like as you can see mine is 79.4 and so that's the reason why you don't need it anymore because it does it on its own and now for the step size whenever you uh whenever the miner tries to tune your value higher so right now it's at 74 79.4 whenever it tries to step up it's going to step up that default value, which is 0.5. Now, stepping in that big of a size, it's skipping, uh, like, for example, if you are if you start at 79, it's going to go 79.5. It's going to skip 79.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0 0.4. And then so if you hit a lock at 79.5, then maybe 79.4 your card is stable or 79.3 your card is stable but it's not going to know that because it's stepped back down all the way to 79 and so that's why you want to set the um, step size to 0.1 the only negative side effect to that is it takes the tuner longer to to increase and then um, another one that i like to set is the interval and then what this one is is the amount of time it takes before the miner will try to step again so by default, it's tw it's set to 20, which is 20 minutes. And I like to use five minutes just to speed up that process. And that's basically how all my light hash rate batch files will look. Uh, with the new version, you're going to want to use full. Now, of course, if you're using a beta version, this may change. They may recommend you not use it at all. But as of 25.12, you should use it and just save it. And there you go, that's how you do it. So, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully this helped you out. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.